Hello everyone and welcome back to today's build. So happy new year. It is now 2022. We are in the first week and hopefully it is <laughs> it is not going to be as bad as last year. But we can all hope and pray, be suspicious <laughs> and hope for the best. So we are building a modern home that I found some cool concept art for on on the Googles while I was doing the Christmas because you always need to do that, that Sims build research and I didn't play any Sims for the whole of Christmas which is nice sometimes to have a little break from what you do all the time and just enjoy enjoy the moment and have some have some relaxing time as well and do some do some different stuff and go see spider-man which was amazing and a great film <laughs> so definitely definitely a film to check out if you ha if you somehow haven't got around to seeing it <laughs> and I hope everyone spent New Year better than I did after after getting my my stab, my third stab, then having having wonderful side effects for twenty four hours <laughs> over New Year's Eve. So I literally did nothing and just watched Doctor Who on New Year's stream. Like it has become a tradition every year now since it's about the beginning of the pandemic probably or 2019 or something like that watching his new year's stream which is always fun and <laughs> doing yeah doing nothing except for on the second when I was actually better and decided that I would treat myself to <laughs> to the last the last object in Primark that I really wanted which was a bar car to put all my new bar things on it's so so extra but it was only 35 pounds so we can we can allow it when when everything else is near enough over 100 quid for a bit of metal <laughs> and some shelves which is very depressing but we we are putting the windows in we have our our roofs. I picked this build because it had very interesting roofs, and it had different textures and colours. And I thought this is this is an interesting looking house. So I thought it would be it would be fun to to do that, and we can play around with the inside. And I think it already, it did have the the floor plan in the pictures on the website that it actually came from but I was like eh we'll wing that we'll wing that we, we can have some fun with the floor plan I did like we've got like dark wood paneling we've also got wood paneling which I've used a different type of wood paneling I use the the bowling night stuff wood paneling for the wood the, the light wood <laughs> when we're using two bits of different wood it's not not amazing to say just wood is it that's super helpful but we've got this little gray bit as well which is going to be pushed back because i realized that it wasn't flush with the with the bit where we've got the this the small the small little long windows and i thought there was nowhere else I don't know whether on the back you would have some small windows, but the back you'd want big windows because you look over to your lovely garden. We actually do quite a bit of landscaping in this. I do most, I think I do most of it off camera because I wasn't quite sure and I was playing with terrain and stuff and I was like, we all know how how messy that can be. And we've got this cool platform at the front to make a little interesting like overhang which I was thought it was quite a fun thing to do. Like, oh, I can actually do that in The Sims. Let's let's actually pick this house. <laughs> which is always nice because sometimes you pick a house and you're just like, how on earth am I going to do that with the with the limited things I can do in The Sims? But we do have 
a drop like a sunken living room which is quite fun because we have an open open-ish plan house it's not too open it just has massive rooms and I did do like the bathroom the laundry room and the garage off camera and put some lights in the front to try to give give myself some sort of a vibe to go on and this is our sunken living room because it is wide open to the hallway so I was like we need some distinguished I can't speak <laughs> some distinct I can't say <laughs> it's so annoying we need some separation between <laughs> between the living room and the hallway so we've sunken it down with your done on dark wood floors instead of our basketball court floors that I've been using throughout this build and I thought it'd be quite makes it quite cozy as well even though it is fully open to the rest of the house and we've got a fireplace we're gonna have our tv in the corner I put some curtains in because obviously you need some like closing off if you're going to put the TV in front of the windows so you can actually watch it but it takes a while for me to work out where I want the sofa to be because at the moment it feels quite enclosed and we're not using the, the space enough and I thought we needed needed to open open it up a bit and utilize the space a bit more so I actually brought that forward because then we've got two too wide hallway area for the sims to actually walk instead of a one wide and I know the sims will probably cry and say they can't walk <laughs> so that did help and then moving the sofa back as well now my voice is gonna go because of not talking and having wonderful side effects <laughs> for like three days but we will we will I will push through I will continue for you <laughs> and we've got the little planter there because I always forget that planter and it's something that I actually want in real life it's from Ikea and it is a beautiful object but I have no space I literally need to sort <laughs> sort my room out I don't know whether any of you get to the new year and you're just like I need to move things around <laughs> I just need to feng shui and set things and clean and prepare for this new year and you're in a different headspace I, I went out for a walk on new year's day and I was just like it seems like wonderfully peaceful but also like suspiciously peaceful and I was just like may this continue because I do not want any drama this year <laughs> no drama no fuss no hassle just calm and fun things because I don't think much of us could take or many of us could take much more <laughs> after last year but we are now we are now into the kitchen and I thought we could use this lovely sage green color because I realized there was not too much color in the main living spaces but when we get to the bedrooms there is obviously going to be a lot more color because we have five bedrooms upstairs which is fun because I never do that many bedrooms and I really wanted to have in the kitchen the double stack ovens because they they are always pretty cool so that is what we are doing with our move objects and our nine key and we have our double stove top as well and then we're gonna have a double sink in the the island but I think this kitchen looked big beforehand but I think once we have everything in it actually is quite an appropriate size for this house and it kind of fits in quite nicely with everything and it it is a nice even though it's quite long it doesn't feel overly long because I think we've put in the the right length of like island counters and I don't want to over clutter it as well because it's quite a it's quite a minimal house and we've got the big sliding doors as well so 
we obviously don't want to block those up and we've got some nice sage green seats to go in the front and I wanted to have some feature lights and I did want to use these because they have the same colour as well but they're just not quite big enough so these ones from Discover University were quite cool and it brings in the black but I was like let's actually line it up with the middle which is a bit annoying because the seats are then off and there's no way to line the seats up unless I put another one in and then it's like we're got three lights but four chairs that would that would annoy me <laughs> so we have three and they're off which is probably more annoying but there we are and then at the end here we have our little dining space which is I think quite nice for like some formal things it's quite down at the end of the house and we actually have an office off the end of this room which I thought would be an interesting thing because it's the furthest away and you could probably get quite a bit of work done in that type of office it's kind of like nicely it's separated from the living space so people could be in the living room or what, whatever they liked and you could be far far away doing doing your work and in peace so we are we made the dining room a lot darker with the dark rug and stuff just to just to contrast it a bit with the, the actual kitchen area and then in our office space we have the the same windows that are pretending to be doors for the carriage and it is it's quite a nice little cozy space we have our double desk as well because I thought that would be quite fun I didn't want to block the window too much but I actually wanted to have some desk space as well so we've got a little sound mixing thing we've got the bookcases as well and a few musical bits and pieces cameras and all sorts of stuff and the the kids board as well so if you did have parenthood then you could use that because there wasn't really an appropriate place except for in here to actually put that and it kind of fits in an office a bit more than if you're not play like doing a proper family family home because in a modern house it's a bit odd <laughs> just to have this big notice board thing but it kind of works in an office space we've got magazines and cds and books and we've got the I think it's I can't remember it's like the fashion board or something like that on the back so it's like a nice big pin board for them and I wanted to have a picture there like a painting but I wanted it to be big enough and it was really hard to find something big enough so then upstairs we have a nice landing area which has our stairs and obviously and it has a, some openness to the roof as well which we've got the Moschino light hanging down and this is our master bedroom then next to it we have two kids bedrooms that share a bathroom in the middle and then we have a teen and a guest bedroom which also share a bathroom so it's something that I don't normally do which is put the bathrooms like in the middle of rooms but it is it's is quite a I think fits this build quite well and it fits the style of it and we obviously don't have any windows for that part either so it it fit, fitted very nicely something to keep in mind as well because we don't really have that in the UK I know it's a bit more of an American thing to have your bathrooms in in between rooms and stuff so it's definitely something to keep keep an, uh, in mind in, when building and I thought it'd be quite nice to have because we've got this diagonal wall with the little indent in and the window I thought it was very nice for a built-in section so we've got all the boxes and some clothes hanging up and the window kind of gets framed as well by everything around we've got a little bowl for keys and some candles and stuff and the hairdryer and everything it's quite a nice simple room quite light as well even though we've got the dark wood floors and we've got the big double doors into this room as well it probably has the best view down to the garden when we actually put the garden in and then this room is kind of a pre-teen room I would say it's got some nice bright blues in here but it's not quite teen and it's not quite like young child either so it is a 
kind of put some sport posters up as well. So they're they're an active sim, so they they like their sport and running and stuff. So it could be either either or, <laughs> and it just has some fun bits and pieces. And we have the nice big window here here as well, and they share their bathroom, which has kind of a more of a kids bathtub instead of being all black they've got the the pink curtain and the avocado bathtub which is always fun they've got a few toys and bits and pieces so they're not quite grown up enough but they've obviously got pictures of their friends and everything and a few certificates but i thought it was quite a bright room in the end you can even though we've not actually put any like colours on the walls or anything but we've really used the objects to put the colour in and it is very blue <laughs> which is quite fun. I actually, I actually remembered the the lights for the kids as well which is something I always forget because I have not played the sims properly like played played the sims properly in ages even though they've brought scenarios out and stuff <laughs> still I've not played the game I just don't have time which is sad because I should make some time <laughs> and then in this bedroom we've done we're gonna do a void cricket bedroom that is very bright and orange and this is more the the young child room it's gonna have lots of toys and we're gonna change the desk up to have the painting the craft desk because I thought they're not old enough to actually have homework or anything so they just have their crafty desk instead and you can imagine this is just just been aged up <laughs> and they've got all their coys void critter posters i actually go back and put in some of the the decals and that of the the animals hidden around the room as well it's just it's just a fun bright bedroom and shows shows that sims they do have i don't know why i put the slot pictures <laughs> i was just like I need something on there. Let's put an expensive painting in. And they've got the big yellow rug as well. Some matching curtains. And it's just a bright, fun room. And then this was going to be the guest bedroom. And then I was going to put like a gym or something in the other long space. But I was like, when I actually started putting in some of the objects, I was like, ah, this house has enough rooms to actually have like three kids or more if you wanted to you could have four kids or have have even more if you really wanted to and split it up even more so this is a teen room so we've got like gaming stuff it's very like dark and a bit grungy <laughs> as well just I feel like I've done that twice now it's bad <laughs> I need to do something else but they've got too much stuff going on i did go and have some fun with the decals on the wall so we got like the basketball hoop we've got some science posters it's just all different fun bits and pieces some gaming ones as well the energy drink which i thought was funny because that's the sort of thing they would put up on their the on their wall and then we've got some graffiti as well so they've kind of really taken taken their space and made it their own that's when I went and put the decals of the little monsters hiding around the room as well which I thought was something that you would definitely do as a child especially if you grew up in the Pokemon era which I feel like these things are definitely representing Pokemon for sure <laughs> and some nice big black curtains as well because they are obviously ones you close everything out and hide from the rest of the world and then in the back garden I thought it'd be quite nice to have this slope down into a sunken garden which I was like this sounds cool and then you were like oh no I have to play with terrain and make it work and everything so that was that was fun so we're doing a slope down it actually goes around the corner a little bit more than what we have here and I think you could definitely take it even further around the corner if you wanted to. And we're going to have a nice slope down. So we've got like a formal area at the top where we're going to have a barbecue and some cupboards, seating and outdoor seating. 
and then down here we're gonna have like a little jungly tropical area with our stone onsen as a hot tub type of thing because I don't I love using the onsenses as swimming pools instead of putting a swimming pool in just because of the, the stone texture it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and then it's like some rich person has built a really fancy swimming pool so I'm just putting in a few plants and bits and pieces but I do do all that off camera because it's just placing the same bush everywhere and we're going to use terrain paint to do the little path down that goes into like a little mud path that goes around the side of the onsen so where there's like a little bench so you can sit down there and hide <laughs> if you really wanted to and we have our barbecue area which I decided to actually put some of the the surfaces out here as well because we have the the little border which we actually put a half wall around so it's proper enclosed space and I thought this is the type of house that would have like a proper built-in outside area <laughs> for their barbecuing and I was trying to get a half wall the same height as well so it didn't look too weird and we can use the brown the brown wood as well so it's it's supposed to be natural fence barrier. We've got the sink out here. We're going to have a bin and we're going to have the, the base game awning as well, which I don't find until I actually go and remember what category it's actually in because I can never remember what category they are in, which is not this one. And I spend a lot of time looking for it and I was just like, I give up. Let's put other things in. So this is when I got the onsens. I was just like yes please please sink down <laughs> into the space and I was just like it looks so it just fits in that little nook and it just looks awesome and I really hope they could use it because I have not tested this house <laughs> classic and we've got some nice outdoor seating which I thought would be quite nice to put here in front of the sliding door so you can like just sit out watch the, the anyone in the onsen in the garden we've got our posts between the bushes as well so it does light up quite nicely at night time in the night time and what else do we do we do a, a little green wall as well just at the side here where it's actually level just to give some extra like detailing and we use a mix of this bush and the wisteria as well because it just pokes through so nicely and then scaled down the jungle adventure one as well so we've got a nice fairy texture thing and then that is our garden popped in i also used the light from the the plant kit from the outside i think that is a really cool outdoor light just because we've got the plant there we've got the bins and the mailbox and then we're just going to put in a few trees out the front so the nice small red ones that I've actually stacked together just to make it look bigger and then we've got a nice big tree so that is our house let us jump into the screenshots and have a little bit closer look especially at the garden as well you can see there's a little path that goes down there and it's just like tropical plants and the thing and we've got our guest bedroom as well all furnished and we can have a look at the bathroom and the laundry room as well so this is our hallway i did a little custom shoe rack as well using some dividers and shelves here is our living room which i think looks quite cool you get a really cool view down into the garden as well here's our laundry space which you have two washing machines a dryer and three hampers so that should hopefully be plenty there's our downstairs bathroom there's our kitchen which looks really cool and green <laughs> and our dining room and you can see a little sneak to the outside as well we've got our office you can actually see my railway arch build <laughs> as well in the background which is fun and there's our hallway with our light that comes down from the ceiling as well which is a cool feature there's our master bedroom our first kids bedroom so blue <laughs> and sporty with a plant coming through the wall <laughs> and our 
of the kids' bedroom, and our teen room, and then here's our guest bedroom. So we've got just the bed down one end, and then we've got a bookshelf and a seat and a few bits and pieces down the other. And then this is our outdoor space. This is our formal area with our barbecue and our picnic bench and seats. And then we've got our garden down the end. So I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.